There is a new technology which allows this remarkable young athlete to focus on the game he loves and not on his diabetes. William Vandenbroek is using the world's first insulin pump and continuous glucose monitoring system that has the capability to automatically suspend insulin delivery when glucose levels fall below a preset low threshold. It also monitors and records glucose levels 24-7 and sounds an alarm when those levels stray from their target range. So William, who was diagnosed when he was a toddler, can concentrate on his passion. Living with diabetes, you have to give insulin for all the food you eat. You have to watch for high and low blood sugars. And if it is high or low, you have to take the necessary actions. I can do all the other things that kids can do. I can play soccer. I can do sports. It, take, it takes a time of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it gets easier. The new pump, it has continuous glucose monitoring system, so it gives you a real-time graph of what your blood sugars are. It also can predict if you're going to go high or low, so that's really helpful. William is one of more than 3 million Canadians living with diabetes. Leading diabetes researcher Dr. Bruce Perkins says the goal of any diabetes management strategy must be to control glucose levels. When we treat uh, type 1 diabetes, we need to use insulin injections or insulin pump therapy. And we're trying to make blood sugars as normal as possible. The problem with this situation is that sometimes we can overshoot and cause a low blood sugar, that's hypoglycemia. When someone has hypoglycemia, their blood sugar levels are so low that even their brain can't uh, be using that energy to function normally. So they can run into severe problems like seizure, coma, or even death. So this is a major problem in the management of type 1 diabetes. Dr. Perkins believes that controlling glucose levels is important so patients can go on with their daily lives. Among the new um, ways of uh, delivering insulin, uh, this system has an insulin pump that's connected with a continuous glucose monitor. So it's able to uh, estimate blood sugar every few minutes. Usually, uh, such a system would only be available to a patient to, to look at the trends in blood sugars and make decisions on their own about insulin delivery. But this one has a security blanket, and that is if they haven't noticed a severe drop in blood sugar, the system itself makes the decision to shut off insulin for a few hours to help prevent a severe episode of hypoglycemia. This small pump, which helps you deliver just the right amount of insulin, represents freedom as well as peace of mind for Ruby Cooner. This insulin pump has changed my everyday life. Um, it's made things easier for me. Um, it's made my life more flexible. I'm able to do things at different times of the day that I wasn't able to do before. I've, I'm an elementary teacher and I have a two and a half year old son. So having a busy lifestyle and having the pump with all the different features like the predictive alerts helps me to have a smoother day and to correct sugars if they go are going too high or going too low before it happens. Andrew McKee, head of the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation in Canada, believes this represents a technological breakthrough and a major step forward in diabetes management. One of the primary goals of JDRF right now is to develop the artificial pancreas, or we call it the artificial pancreas project. The artificial pancreas envisions a world where you have a closed loop system or a continuous glucose monitor and an insulin pump that talk to each other automatically that don't require any patient intervention. We realize it's a long pathway to achieving that closed loop system, um, but the low glucose suspend feature that we're talking about here today on an insulin pump is one of the first steps along that pathway to achieving an artificial pancreas. The number of Canadians living with diabetes is expected to soar to 3.7 million in the next decade. Advances such as the Minimed Paradigm Veo will be vital to managing their disease. For more information, visit pumptechnology.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.